Hey, good day. Okay, here's my new one. I only got two magnets in. I'm testing where I want these positioned. So, right past top dead center. It goes all the way around and repels. So, in this position, it's not too bad. Now, it's a balancing act because you want good repulsion while maintaining enough space in between those magnets to insert the gate. So, I'm trying to figure out the spacing, then adjust them accordingly, but that looks pretty close. You know, I kind of want it to bounce off here. I want it to make a full revolution, so I might bring them out a little more before I put them in place. But that's about it. Now I got the two ring magnets. They're not glued in, they're just sitting in there pretty tight. Now, this is equivalent to a one cylinder engine because you have one pop and one pop, you don't have the counterbalance pop. And as you know, one cylinder engines might run without a flywheel, but it's going to be very difficult to get them started and to maintain them and they're unstable because they need a flywheel. So these magnets, I'm planning two purposes. First, the flywheel. Now I don't have, I'm not holding these down in the middle yet. I don't have bolts there. So they're bouncing a tiny bit in the gears, but as you see, you got the flywheel effect, which is much better. It has some inertia to carry it through. Okay. And also, it gives me magnetic fields up here that don't affect the spin. So this is a way you could position magnets if they're dead center without affecting the rotation and without affecting this. So if you need more magnetic fields in your system, which I'm thinking I do, this is one way to accomplish it. Put it right dead center of each rotor. So there, and it's a uniform field in a circle going around the outer circumference so it's not going to interfere with the other rotor because the other rotor has the exact same thing and you could take the pole from up here and magnetize metal to put a gate or other configurations so it also gives us possibility say I have metal in here you know on these two rods being magnetized also it gives me possibility to slide another rag a ring magnet on top of it to saturate that metal with two ring magnets one spinning and one stationary but they're exactly lined up in the same circumference so it would give me more options to play with so this is uh liking this one the best before I glue these magnets in, I want to get everything set. I'm trying to print out rings that go around this to space those perfect, so I get that as good as I as good as I can. Now I have a little play in the gear, as you see, one magnet ahead of the other one a hair. But if I pull it back, you see the gear play. I didn't do tight gears because you know this is good enough for now. Okay, so I'll update once I get my next parts printed up and I get something going.